the Rangers come into play tonight, having won just one of six so far on this road trip. Texas has lost nine of its last ten and stand 73-57, and 57, which right now is good enough for a tie for second in the American League West. The New York Mets, of course, have had a very underwhelming season. The Mets are 60-71 and 71 and are currently last in the National League East. Step forward for McGill in his last start against the Braves. Three earned runs allowed uh, in that start. If he fills the strike zone and puts the ball in play, he's going to have a lot of success in this league. Marcus Semien leads off. Second year in Texas. Out to right field. Stewart will have to give ground, and he reaches up and makes the catch right at the edge of the warning track for a loud first out off the bat of Semien. Corey Seager. He does pretty well against the Mets every time he faces them. Just 362 lifetime. And he takes a fastball for strike three call. Seager must have been looking for something else. Took the 98 mile an hour fastball for the second out. So two out and nobody on. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And this one lined into left. That's a base hit. Lowe is on. And so the Rangers have a base runner in the first. And with that hit, Nathaniel Lowe extends his current nine game streak to 10. Dolly's Garcia batting cleanup. And already a career high 32 home runs. In on the ground to short, waiting on it, Lindor. He's got it, goes the short way to second for the force play, and that retires the side. No runs, a hit, one left. Well, we know John Gray from his time in the Colorado Rocky uniform. I said that he struggled against the Mets. His last three starts against the Mets 15 earned runs and 13 and a third innings pitched. Brandon Nimmo trying to snap out of an 0 for 20 stretch, so he'll just pretend he's facing Gray. At Coors Field. 2 2 from John and a swing and a miss. And there's that good hard slider. He gets Nimmo swinging one away. And it'll bring up Francisco Lindor, switch hitter batting left, and Francisco on a 13 game hitting streak. And they got him with a fastball. Back to back strikeouts for Gray. That fastball right there had a little bit of explosion to it. So it's Jeff McNeil now. 2 2 pitch, and he hits this in the air right field. And that will be playable. And the Mets go in order here in their half of the first. One inning complete at City Field. Rangers and Mets, nothing, nothing. So here's Ezekiel Duran, 8 9 and 1, do up for the Rangers in a scoreless ball game. Duran, a jack of all trades, lines by the left, and another play for Ortega, who makes the sliding catch. He is always ready to play. He's a hustler, and he always shows lots of energy. That has not changed in a Mets uniform. Now, Leody Tavares, and a good breaking ball by McGill. It's a second strikeout he's gotten on his curveball. His fourth strikeout, first time through the batting order. So now Marcus Simeon. Now Simeon lines one to left. On comes Ortega again, and he slides, and he caught it. He did. Rafael Ortega with a couple of fine plays, each one better than the one before. Here's Brandon Nimmo from the left side. No score, bottom three, runner on. Then he smashes one to deep right field. Forget that. Brandon Nimmo. Unloads a two run homer. That snaps his 0 for 21 stretch and it snaps a scoreless tie tonight. 2 0 New York. Back here at uh, City Field, we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. DJ Stewart leads off for New York. As Stewart gets one of the air to deep right center back near the wall, Tavares watches it go. Home run. DJ Stewart with his seventh home run. And the Mets have another long ball against John Gray. 3 0 New York. So you mentioned the third time around penalty for McGill. Third time through, 391. He has not gone beyond six innings in any start in the major leagues this year. And that's lined the other way. A base hit for Semyon. Chase toward the corner. Stewart can't cut it off, and Semyon will go to second base with a leadoff double. First extra base hit of the night for the Rangers. And there's their third hit against McGill. Oh, the right man at the plate now behind him, and Seeger. Hits this one off the end of the bat. That will ruin the bat. The slow roller to third, just slow enough that he beats it out for an infield hit. All right, Rangers now two for two, the third time through. This is the right time to strike. Facing McGill for a third time, the right guy's up. And Lowe hits a ground ball. Lindor has got it. Steps on the bag, throws to first, double play. Just what McGill needed. Lindor with the tippy toe to second base with a 6 6 3 double play, two out. So a two out a runner at third for Garcia and Garcia hammers it out to the alley and right that's down base hit Simeon scores from third and Garcia with the RBI double well he takes that extra opportunity to deliver a big RBI it's three to one 
now a simple single by Robbie Grossman could get another two out run in. Struck him out. Tyler McGill finishes with a flourish. His eighth strikeout to Strand Garcia. John Gray was good. Tyler McGill was better. 17 strikeouts between them. Well, it's the best I've seen him this year. And you could tell because he got a lot of strikeouts looking, so he set up the hitters. He got in great pitchers' counts to the first five innings of this ball game. All of his pitches were working well, but it was centered around a fastball he threw two thirds of the time. Complete effort by McGill. So Raley walks his last batter. Coonrod walks his first batter. And now the bases are loaded with one out for Robbie Grossman. Bouncer right side of the infield. They'll get the out at second one. A run scores. And the inning will continue. So now J.P. Martinez, the rookie left fielder, will come to bat. It's hit in the air to center field. Shallow. In comes Nemo. He's there. Side retired. So here's Ezekiel Duran 0 for 3, but a hard 0 for 3 tonight. Smith at first and the pitch. This one lined out to right center. That's a base hit. Smith got a good jump. He heads to third. Going for second. Duran, he's in there. He's got a double that sets the Rangers up nicely here for Leody Tavares. Runners at second and third with nobody out. Struck him out. Got wet with the cutter on three and two, and he strikes out Tavares for the first down. That's going to continue to play the infield in with Semyon up. Struck him out. Big time strikeout for Trevor Guy. Now there are two away, and now if you're Buck Showalter, do you walk Seeger? And Buck has already pointed to first base. Seeger's going to get the intentional pass. They'll deal with Nathaniel Lowe instead. And this one hit sharply into right field. Base hit. Smith scores. Here comes Duran. The throw. Not in time. Two runs score, and the Rangers take a 4 3 lead in the ninth. So now Menda carries the tying run at first base. And Alvarez's running mate, Omar Narvaez, will come in to try and make something happen. That ball's hit well. Out to right field. Garcia's back. He's got it. And this one is over. A hard hit ball, but into the glove of Garcia. And the Rangers take the first game of this series. And how about it, Val? First time this year after trailing through eight innings that they come back to win a game.